So we're gonna be making our way through. Um, these ants, these like new whatever guardian ants, they can die the same way the other ones have died. Nothing too crazy. Yeah, I can't believe how strong these sneak attacks are. Actually, I can believe it, but um, I don't know. It's just melee. Like I've never done a melee class, and so. I've always platinumed it and like ran through it, but since I'm like trying to save bullet, I don't know. Doing this accidentally made me realize how strong it is. But I don't, I don't, I don't think this is that fun. But this is pretty efficient, I guess. So we're gonna keep doing it. Fallout New Vegas, I'll probably just be like a gunslinger or whatever. I would invest in explosives more, but there is a, so there's the queen, that big ass bitch. Um. And explosives more, but it's like I don't really use grenades that much other than pocketing them. Ha! And there should be this last one. He just saw his buddy. Oop. Missed. That's my bad. So I think that's it. You gonna tell me that's it? Yeah. So we'll just sneak in here. There's another terminal we can get into. We're gonna do that. We'll take this big book of science. Oh, oh. Oh god. Accidentally activated that. Are you kidding me? Wow. I just sat down in that chair. That's great. And we got that first try. Um I don't know if there's anything we want to read. Yeah, we don't we don't want to do this. Run. Oh! Ow. shit at me whoops um so we got that let's go turn this in and once we do that we will um so like the thing about this quest it's not hard it can all be done but to actually finish it you have to have rivet city unlocked or another location unlocked we actually have rivet city unlocked so we're going to do that but to get the experience you need rivet city or you need the, one of the two i think there's only two locations but one of the two locations to do it. So that's what kind of sucks because it's like, oh, you went and did it all and you like, you get your perk or whatever, but it's still dumb. So we're going to come up here. We'll talk to Dr. Lesko. He should tell us our great. I've detected some changes within the queen's hatchery with my equipment. What's transpired? Uh, my work is done, doctor. Oh, how marvelous. Please, tell me what happened. Uh, I killed all the nest guardians. Then I will proceed to my portable terminal at once and make the necessary changes to the formula. Thanks very much for everything. You've been quite a useful lab assistant. Um, I'm ready for my mutagenic bioenhancer injection, doctor. How marvelous. Which injection did you want? Will it be the ant sight or ant mite? Um... So you can do ant mite or ant sight. This increases your strength. This increases your perception. We're gonna go ant mite to increase my physical strength. How marvelous! Ant mite it is. Hold still, please. Uh, we did that to increase our carry capacity by ten, and we'll eventually get them all to ten, so it's not a big deal. So might as well get our strength up. Um, so you've been granted the strength and flame resistance of gray ditch of gray ditch fire ants. Your strength has increased by one, and you are now twenty five percent resistant to fire. Great. Um, so I think if you lie to that... Oh, might as well do this. So I think if you lie to him, he can go down there and die. I'm not sure. I've never done that. I've always just done it and gotten the perk. Um, so dedicated. Dedicated was really close. Um, dedicated. So maybe disgraced. Hmm. Wow. Um... Is that? Come on. There's gotta be more. Alright. So dedicated was close. Separated? Generated. There we go. Um, I don't think we care. Unlock hatchery. I don't know what that is. Okay, those are all those. Alright. Nothing really interesting in there. Um... 
I feel like I can, he I can hear ants. Because I can. Shouldn't you guys be fighting? And this is one of the people, William Brandis. He was one of the people that lived in a... What's it called? I think actually there's... He might be the, I th it might be him, but there's one with a very interesting backstory. Like they're from California and they came all the way out here. I know I want to go this way. I think, I'm hoping, I kind of want to run around just because I don't like wasting time. So we'll come here. We're going to do this terminal. Parents, victims, ranking? Nope. Wow. Take those. So there's a lot of duds now. What was close? Ranking was not close. So cancer is probably. Yeah. And we'll just pick this lock too. Get the uh, extra experience. Okay. Great. Come in here, loot this, loot this. We don't want that ripper, not a big deal. And we'll do Grady safe. Naughty Nightwear. So our speech is increased by 10 and our luck is increased by one. So we come out here. Who's this? I'm only gonna ask you this one time. Give me the Naughty Nightwear. Uh, I'm keeping it and I advise you to back off before I get angry. All right, all right. My mistake. It obviously belongs to you. Now, uh, you just watch it, because I won't be so nice next time. Uh-huh. Sure, lug nut. All right. Well, that was that. That was, uh... Hey, lug nut, come here. Man, you can deal with that. I'm, I don't, I don't care about dealing with them. They like give five experience, or whatever. So not really worth it. Uh, so we'll just go back the way we came, and we're gonna talk to um, our buddy Brian Wilkes. Tell him that, you know, the day is saved, and uh, he can just chill. Did I just get stuck? Oh my God. I thought I got stuck. Stuck. I thought I got stuck. That would be awful. I got stuck uh, on when I was playing on my, con on my computer earlier. Or not earlier, but when I was practicing this playthrough. Uh, and it was so it was awful. I just... Uh, what is that? TCL'd out. Which was nice, but can't do that in this. And so that would... Like, we haven't saved... Well, I guess we saved right outside of the hatchery, but it still would have sucked. So we'll hop over this, and we will go outside soon. So yeah, that's basically it. There's a guns and bullets in this in this area, or not in this area, but in Great Ditch, and then the Big Book of Science by him. We got our new Cola Quantum, which we will use in a gun later, and or in a you know in a grenade later. So pretty good, um, you know, pretty good rewards for this quest honestly it's really not too difficult we got a whole we got a new we got a special stat so um the only thing that sucks is trying to get your ex or like actually finishing because it's kind of just petty i guess i don't know how you would describe it but it's like you don't get it right away you don't go i mean you can go to him and be like hey i did it and screw you i'm not trying to find you a home you can be an orphan in this town by uh the raiders or by the super mutants so let's go talk to Brian. All these ants are dead. There should be no more ants in this town. Which can suck if you're like trying to... I don't know. So, uh, and level 20 is the next karma trophy. That's, that'll... Honestly, the trophies that... Those are the trophies that give me the... Make me the most anxious because it's like I don't want to miss out on getting them. So we're going to come over here and talk to our boy... Um, this might just open up automatically. Sometimes it's a weird little. Now I know what a TV dinner feels like. Ooh, sick reference. It 
was so weird. All of a sudden, the ants went nuts and started fighting each other. It was like they were totally crazy. It was really scary, but kind of cool at the same time. You know what I mean? Sure. I'm just glad you're safe. I wish I had something to give you for all the work you did, but I never really had much to start with. I guess now you'll be on your way, and I'll have to try living here by myself. Hope you'll come back and visit someday. Probably won't. Uh, I can't leave you here alone. Let me find you a place to live. Really? You mean it? Oh, boy. Thank you so much. I'll wait in my old house for you to come back. I need to bury my papa anyway. Yeah, you do. Just don't forget about me. All right. Um, any idea where I can look for someone to take care of you? Well, Papa always told me about my cousin Vera. She lives in some big giant ship somewhere or something. Papa called the place Rivet City, but I don't know where it is. I've been there. I have to go. You're pretty swell for a grown-up. Thanks. I try to be. All right, so real quickly, before we go to Rivet City, we're going to go and find these just two little locations. Just for the experience and the fast travel points. One we will actually use later on because it's the only way to get to the luck bobblehead. Um, so hopefully, I'm just gonna hop down here. That won't hurt. Okay, we're good. We're just gonna walk over here. There's a, um, you know, after you do, um, what's it called? After you finish the story and do Broken Sail, there's something having to do with this place but it's I mean it's kind of cool I think the Anchorage Memorial is actually that thing right over, or no that that might yeah that's the Anchorage I think I'm pretty sure you can't see the statues from here because the draw distance is so we got Williams Wilhelm's Wharf she trades stuff with you there's nothing interesting in her shack and then real quickly we are going to um, walk over here we're gonna find the flooded Metro which we've already actually found this is actually misnamed and should be the Arlington Cemetery Metro which through there all the way through is uh, where the luck ball head is yeah that's new cup so that must have been yeah, that's uh, Anchorage um, so I will see you guys outside of Rivet City all right guys we're outside of Rivet City um, I guess I must have caused my I don't know hmm something weird happened sometimes your dad will spawn outside of here which is whatever um, so we're gonna go find his uh, cousin who actually runs the hotel. We'll actually get some speech checks too. So that's always good. So this way to the Weatherly Hotel. So yeah, we should be seeing uh, when we come back to Rivet, Sh Rivet Shitty. When we come back to Rivet City, we should be seeing our buddy Brian hanging around here, which is always nice to see. Um, and we're doing good on time. So we're gonna finish this up and then we'll go to the Arlington Library where there's tons of action and fun. And there's actually a lot of skill books in there too. So, um, pretty, like, pretty good episode for, uh, finding skill books and, you know, getting perks and progressing your character. Uh, hopefully we hit level 18 as well. Um, I'm trying, I'm trying to figure out what we can do before we hit level 20 to, um, help with, like, the karma trophies. Hello. Um, so you want to come down here, take a right. Flag and trap nose, take another right in here. I think my girl Vera is. Nope, my bad. We'll wait. We're just gonna wait seven hours. Didn't mean to pick that lock. But yeah, I'm trying to figure out. Um, we can do some other side quests too, which won't be bad. I actually, probably clear our catalog a little bit. Morning. Really? It is morning. Saint Monica bless you. Right, are you ready to talk? Welcome to the Weatherly Hotel. I'm your hostess, Vera Weatherly. Uh, have you heard any interesting gossip? Well, I really shouldn't tell you, but have you heard about Polly Cantelli? He's addicted to chems. His poor wife Cindy is at her wit's end. Uh, so there are any fun rumors flying around Rivet City? You haven't heard? Angela has the hots for Diego. But since he's a priest, he's been putting her off. One of these days, she's just going to jump his bones. I would too. Have you seen him? Are there any other rumors you've heard? They say Mr. Lopez is losing it. He stands on the top of the bridge tower for hours at a time, just staring out over the city. Uh, Vera, your nephew Brian lost his folks and needs a place to live. Poor dear. I know what it's like to be alone. 
I'd love to take him in. Don't worry. I have the means to keep him fed and healthy, but most importantly, safe. I think Brian will love his new home. I'll send him along shortly. Oh, that's wonderful. If you ever wander back into Rivet City, why don't you check up on us? You're always welcome. Thanks. Um. Yeah, so now we're just going to go. Sorry, I didn't know if she was maybe hiding anything. Um, so now we are going to, um, and we'll actually do some stuff having to do with the, uh, the stuff we just found out about. Good to see you. But now, good Morning. God, it's all hey. crowded. But uh, now we're going to go talk to Brian. We will tell him that he is cool to live with his cuzzo. And uh, I'll see you when I'm talking to him. All right, we're in Brian's soon-to-be former home. I think he's just upstairs waiting for us to tell him. I hope you found me a place to live. Oh, boy, I did. I sh sure did, Brian. Vera said she'd take you in. You really found her? Oh, thank you so much. I can't believe everything you've done for me. Most people would have kept on walking when I ran up to them screaming like I did. I'll get my stuff together and move on out there right away. Come visit me sometimes. I will. Let me know if she beats you. All right, so now we're going to... Oop, we missed that whole thing. I like that when the thing comes across the screen. All right, we're going to equip our... Or not equip, but we're going to put on the Wasteland Survival Guide. And we will go and do that. There's our trophy pop. If I didn't break the game by trying to load it as it's trying to do the... Yep, there it is. All right, so we're just going to go to the Arlington Library. We actually found it already. It's right there on our map. 